I am reading from the Roman Missal, 1962, by Baronius Press. The Latin Mass, traditional Latin Mass, TLM. Section 1, Mass of the Catechumens. Now when it comes to the deacons or the priest part, or the server and the de uh, priest, I won't distinguish them, I'll just read them. And this is along with all the explanatory notes. So, section one, Mass of the Catechumens. The prayer, the priest prepares for the great sacrifice by prayers, sacred songs, and readings from Holy Scripture. Preparatory prayers at the foot of the cross or the altar. Prayers of humility, love, desire, contrition, and confidence. Number one, the sign of the cross. The priest makes the sign of the cross 52 times during the Mass. It is the summary and emblem of the bloody sacrifice of the cross which the Mass represents and renews. The priest, bowing down at the foot of the altar, makes the sign of the cross from his forehead to his breast and says, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Then, joining his hands before his breast, he begins the antiphon. The priest, I, I will go to the altar of God, the server, to God who gives joy to my youth. Number two, the Psalm 42. The priest alternates with the server in reciting this psalm to express his desire, joy, and confidence in going to the altar of the sacrifice. In Masses for the Dead and the Passion of Sunday till Good Friday inclusive, this psalm is omitted. Judge me, O God, and distinguish my cause from the nation that is not holy. Deliver me from the unjust and deceitful man. For thou art God my strength. Why hast thou cast me off, and why do I go sorrowful, whilst the enemy afflicteth me? Send forth thy light and thy truth. They have conducted me, and brought me unto thy holy hill, and into thy tabernacles. And I will go in to the altar of God, to God, who giveth joy to my youth. To thee, O God, my God, I will give praise unto the harp. Why art thou sad, O my soul, and why hast thou disquieted me? Hope in God, for I will still give praise to him, the salvation of my countenance and my God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The priest repeats the antiphon, I will go in to the altar of God, to God who giveth joy to my youth. The priest, signing himself with the sign of the cross, says, Our help is in the name of the Lord, who maketh heaven and earth. Number three, the public confession. It is an acknowledgment of his guilt before God and that of all others assisting at the divine sacrifice. Then, joining his hands and humbly bowing down, he says the confidier, I confess to Almighty God, etc. May Almighty God be merciful to thee. And forgiving thy sins, bring thee to everlasting life. The priest answers, Amen. The server says, The confidier, I confess to Almighty God, to the blessed Mary, ever virgin, blessed Michael the archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints, and to you, Father, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed. Here he strikes his breast thrice. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I beseech the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, all the saints, and you, Father, to pray to the Lord our God for me. Then the priest with his hands joined says, May Almighty God be merciful unto you, and forgiving you your sins, bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Sign himself the sign of the cross, he says, May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. Bowing down, he proceeds, O God, thou wilt turn again and bring us to life, and thy people shall rejoice in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. Number four, the priest goes up to the altar. With a prayer for pardon on his lips, the priest goes up to the altar, which he kisses. He kisses the altar nine times during the Mass, begging for the intercession of the saints, 
whose relics repose in the altar stone. First extending, then joining his hands, the priest says audibly, Remus. Then, ascending to the altar, he says secretly, Take away from us our iniquities, we beseech thee, O Lord, that we may be made worthy to enter with pure minds into the Holy of Holies, through Christ our Lord. Amen. His hands joined, and bowing down over the altar, the priest says, We beseech thee, O Lord, by the merits of thy saints, whose relics are here, and of all the saints, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to forgive me all my sins. Amen. In solemn masses, the altar is here incensed. While blessing the incense, the priest says, Be blessed by him in whose honor thou art burnt. Amen. B. From the introit to the confidi uh, offertory. Prayers of faith. The introit. <clears throat> the introit, meaning entrance, is so called because the chant is begun as the priest enters the sanctuary to begin Mass. The introit, collects, epistle, gradual, gospel, offertory, secrets, communion, and post-communion are variable and will be found in their places in the other in the order of proper of masses in this prayer book. The priest, signing himself with the sign of the cross, reads the introit of the day. At the masses for the dead, the priest makes the sign of the cross over the missal. Number six, the Kyrie a series of invocations addressed to each of the three divine persons. <clears throat> For musical notation, see the Kyrial. Then, joining his hands, he says alternately with the ministers, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Number seven, the Gloria. The priest, filled with the confidence in the divine mercy, unites his praises with those of the heavenly spirit who sang glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to men of good will at the birth of our Savior. Afterwards, standing at the middle of the altar, the priest extending and then joining his hands and bowing slightly, the priest says, <clears throat> except on furious outside Pascal time in most votive masses and in masses for the dead, the Gloria. When he says the words, We adore thee, we give thee pray, thanks, Jesus Christ, and receive our prayer, he bows, and at the end signs himself with the sign of the cross from his forehead to his breast. Glory be to God on high and on earth. Peace to men of good will. We praise thee, we bless thee, we adore thee, we glorify thee, we give thee thanks for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Who takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Who sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, Thou only art most high, O Jesus Christ, together with the Holy Ghost, in the glory of of God the Father. Amen. Then the priest kisses the altar and turning to the people says, The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The little ceremony of the Dominus Vobiscum, repeated several times during the Mass, shows how intimately the priest and faithful should be united in offering the sacrifice. Section 8, the Collects. Second variable part. The collects mean the collected prayers of the faithful assisting at the holy sacrifice. Raised in vo his voice, his arm, hands, and his sentiments to God, the priest excites the faithful to unite their prayers with his. Let us pray. Here follow the collects, variable according to the Mass that is being celebrated, <clears throat> and which will be found in their place. At the end of the first and last collect, the server answers, Amen. The word Amen, answered to these and other prayers, indicates that all those assisting subscribe to the petitions in the priest's prayers. Number nine, the epistle, third variable part. 
The epistle is a short selection taken from the epistles or letters of St. Paul or another apostle or from another book of the Old Testament or New Testament, except from the Gospels. Then is read the epistle of the day. At solemn mass, the subdeacon sings the epistle. At the end of the epistle, the server answers, thanks be to God. Number 10, the gradual, fourth variable part. This short prayer of prayers, praise or thanksgiving consists ordinarily of two or three verses taken from the Psalms or another book of the Old Testament. It seems to re-echo the teachings which have just been heard. For these verses always refer to the epistle. The gradual is followed by the Alleluia and versicle. A tract replaces the Alleluia. All right, whatever. So the priest gives to the middle of the altar and recites the following prayer. At low masses, the server, at solemn masses, the subdeacon, transfers the missal to the gospel side. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O Almighty God, who didst cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah and a burning coal and vouchsafe through thy gracious mercy, so to purify me that I may worthily announce the Holy Gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. At low masses, the priest says the following, Give me thy blessing, O Lord. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily and in a becoming manner proclaim his Holy Gospel. Amen. In a solemn masses, <clears throat> the priest blesses the incense, and the deacon, kneeling before the altar with his hands joined, says the Munda Cor. <clears throat> Afterwards, he takes the book from the altar, and again, kneeling down before the priest, asks his blessing, saying, Sir, give me thy blessing. The priest replies, The Lord be in thy heart and on thy lips, that thou mayest worthily and in a becoming manner proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then, turning toward the book, with his hands joined, the priest, at solemn mass as the deacon, says, The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Number 11, the gospel, fifth variable part. The gospel is the most solemn of the readings at the mass because it tells the story of our Savior, Jesus Christ, whose words and deeds it recalls. The faithful rise and remain standing during the gospel, which is sung by the deacon. At the beginning, they make the sign of the cross upon the forehead, lips, and heart to declare that they will never be ashamed of the word of God, that they are ready to confess it by word and mouth, and that they live it with all their heart. And while saying the, continue, <clears throat> the continuation or beginning of the Holy Gospel according to name. The priest signs the book and himself on the forehead, mouth, and breast, and the server says, Glory be to thee, O Lord. The priest then reads the gospel of the day. <clears throat> then is said by the server, Praise be to thee, O Christ. The priest kisses the gospel and says, By the words of the gospel may our sins be blotted out. At solemn masses, he then incenses, he he is then incensed by the deacon. In Masses for the Dead, the Mundacor is said, but the blessing is not asked, and the priest does not kiss the gospel. Number 12, the Credo. On Sundays and certain feast days, the priest recites the Creed, a summary of Catholic doctrine. This profession of faith derives from those proclaimed at the General Council of Nicaea in 325 and Constantinople in 381, convened to condemn heretics who denied that Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost were God. It is usually sung at solemn mass. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, and born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven. Here, kneel down. 
and became incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. He was crucified for all, also for us, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory, to judge both the living and the dead, of whose kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, together with the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Part 2, Mass of the Faithful. From the Offertory to the Preface. The Offertory. Prayers of Self-Surrender and Oblation. Part 13, the Offertory Verse. It's the sixth variable part. The priest kisses the altar and turning to the people says, The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. After saluting the faithful once more, the priest enters upon the sacrifice of the Mass proper and urges the faithful to pray with him. Let us pray. Then the priest reads the offertory verse, a short quotation from the Holy Scripture, which varies with the Mass of each day. This being finished, he offers the bread and the wine to the Father, which is about to be changed into the adorable body and blood of his Son. Number 14, the offering of the bread and wine. He takes the paten with the host and offering it up says, Accept, O Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, this unspotted host, which I, thine unworthy servant, offer to thee, my living and true God, for mine innumerable sins, offenses, and negligencies, and for all here present, <clears throat> as also for all faithful Christians, both living and dead, that it may be of avail for salvation, both to me <clears throat> and to them, unto life everlasting. Amen. Making the sign of the cross with the patent, he places the host upon the corporal. He pours wine and water into the chalice and <clears throat> blesses the water before it is mixed. He pours a few drops of water into the chalice containing wine in remembrance of the water and blood which flowed from the side of Jesus when pierced by the soldier's lance. O God, who, creating human nature, didst wonderfully dignify it, and hast still more wonderfully restored it, grant that, by the mystery of this water and wine, we may become partakers of his divine nature, who deigned to become partaker of our human nature, even Jesus Christ our Lord, thy Son, who with thee liveth and reigneth in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, world without end. Amen. In Masses for the Dead, the foregoing prayer is said, but the water is not blessed. <clears throat> then the priest takes the chalice and offers it, saying, We offer to thee, O Lord, the chalice of salvation, beseeching thy clemency, that it may ascend before thy divine majesty as a sweet savor, for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Amen. The priest makes the sign of the cross with the chalice, places it upon the corporal, and covers it with the pall. Then, with his hands joined upon the altar and slightly bowing down, he says, Accept us, O Lord, in the spirit of humility and contrition of heart, and grant that the sacrifice which we offer this day in thy sight may be pleasing to thee, O Lord God. Raising his eyes toward heaven, ascending and then joining his hands, the priest makes the sign of the cross over the host and the chalice, while he invokes the Holy Spirit. Come, O Almighty and Eternal God, the Sanctifier, and bless this sacrifice, prepared for the glory of thy holy name. Part 15, the incense of the Holy Offering at Solemn Mass. What is offered unto the living God, bread, wine, we ourselves, all the faithful, hence this threefold gift unto God is incensed, at solemn masses, the priest now blesses incense, saying the following prayers. 
May the Lord, by the intercession of the blessed Michael the Archangel, who standeth at the right side of the altar of incense, and of all his elect, vouchsafe to bless this incense, and receive it as an odor of sweetness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Receiving the thurible from the deacon, the priest incenses the bread and the wine, while he says, May this incense, which thou hast blessed, O Lord, ascend to thee, and may thy mercy descend upon us. Then he incenses the altar, saying, Let my prayer, O Lord, be directed as incense in thy sight, and lifting up my hands as an evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a door round about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil works, to make excuse in sins. Giving the incense to the deacon, he says, May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love and the flame of everlasting charity. Amen. The priest is then incensed by the deacon, who then incenses the others in order. Number 16, the washing of hands. The priest washes his fingers to symbolize the great purity and inner cleanliness of those who offer or participate in this great sacrifice. Psalm 25, 6 through 12. I will wash my hands among the innocent, and I will compass thine altar, O Lord, that I may hear the voice of thy praise and tell of all thy wondrous works. I have loved, O Lord, the beauty of thy house and the place where thy glory dwelleth. Take not away my soul, O God, with the wicked, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands are iniquities. Their right hand is filled with gifts. But as for me, I have walked in mine innocence. Redeem me, and have mercy on me. My foot hath stood in the direct way. In the churches I will bless thee, O Lord. <clears throat> Glory be. Number 17. <laughs> the Prayer of the Most Holy Trinity. Bowing down before the middle of the altar, the priest, with joined hands, says, Receive, O Holy Trinity, this oblation, which we make to thee in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ in honor of the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, and of and these and of all the saints, that it may avail unto their honor and our salvation, and may they vouchsafe to intercede for us in heaven, whose memory we celebrate on earth through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Number 18. Verate fratres. Excuse my Latin. <clears throat> the priest kisses the altar and turning towards the people, extending, then joining his hand, says, Brethren, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. The server answers, May the Lord receive the sacrifice from thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, to our benefit and that of his holy church. The priest answers in a low voice, Amen. The Secrets, Seventh Variable Part The priest recommends the offering just made in one or several short prayers called the Secret Prayers. Then, with outstretched hands, he recites the Secret Prayers, not beginning with Oremus. The Secret Prayers vary with the Mass and are found in the Missal of the Day, the Mass of the Day. These being finished, the priest says or sings, World Without End, Amen. From the preface to the Pater Noster, consecration, a prayer of thanksgiving, the preface introducing a prayer of impetration, the canon. The preface. The priest begins the preface, a call to render thanks to God the Father through Jesus Christ in union with all the heavenly spirits. The prayer of thanksgiving and praise varies with important feasts. The various prefaces are given from page 879 of this missal. The priest begins the preface, holding both hands over the altar. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. <clears throat> he raises them a little when he says, lift up our hearts. We have them lifted up to the Lord. He joins them before his breast and bows his head when he says, let us give thanks to the Lord our God 
it is meet and just. The priest then opens his hands and keeps them thus until the end of the preface. After which he again joins them <clears throat> and bowing says Sanctus. When he says Benedictus, he blesses himself. The different prefaces will be found on page 879. Part 21, the Sanctus. <clears throat> One triumphal, the triumphal hymn of the angels, um, the thrice holy, is addressed to the three divine persons. It is composed of words taken from Isaiah 6, 3, from Psalm 117, and from the acclamations which greeted Jesus on the occasion of his solemn entry into Jerusalem, Matthew 21. <clears throat> holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The canon of the Mass. The word canon is derived from the Greek and signifies rule, direction, order. The canon comprises the fixed forms of prayer in the Mass from the Sanctus to the Pater Noster. Part 22, the prayers before consecration. Before the consecration, the priest recommends to God, the church, the ecclesial authorities, and the living persons for whom he prays especially, and the faithful who are present, then he invokes the saints and implores their protection. For the church and the ecclesial authorities, the priest extended, extending, raises and then joining his hands, raises his eyes toward heaven, and deeply bowing, says in a low voice, We therefore humbly pray and beseech thee, most merciful Father, through Jesus Christ thy Son, our Lord, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to accept and bless these gifts, these presents, this holy victim, without blemish, which in the first place we offer thee for thy holy Catholic Church, vouchsafe to preserve, preserve and govern her in peace and union throughout the world, together with thy servant and our Pope and, and our Bishop and all who follow and foster the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Commemoration of the Living In union with the priest, mention here the names of the persons and the intentions for which you offer the divine victim. Be mindful, O Lord, of thy servants and handmaids, name and name, and of all here present, whose faith and devotion are known unto thee, for whom we offer, or who offer up to thee, the sacrifice of praise for themselves, their families and friends, for the redemption of their souls, for the health and salvation they hope for, and who now fulfill their obligation to thee, the eternal living and true God. The Invocation of the Saints Communicating with and honoring in the first place, the memory of the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord God, Jesus Christ, as also of the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, uh, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Thaddeus, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, uh, Cosmos and Damian, and of all thy faithful saints, through whose merits and prayers grant that we may in all things be defended by the help of thy protection. He joins his hands. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The following are the proper communicants for Christmas and Epiphany and Easter and Ascension and with Sunday. So, I will read the one for Easter, because tonight at 9 o'clock is the Easter Mass. Communicant. Oh, starting to read it in Latin. Okay. Communicating and keeping the most holy day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh, and also revering the memory, first, 
of the glorious Mary, ever virgin, mother of the same God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also see above. Part 23, the prayers at the consecration, oblation of the victim. In the name of the church, the priest prays that Almighty God graciously accept the oblation. Spreading his hands over the oblation, he says, We therefore beseech thee, O Lord, to be appeased and accept this oblation of our service, as also of thy holy family, and to dispose our days in thy peace. Preserve us from eternal damnation, and rank us in the number of thine elect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Which oblation do thou, O God, vouchsafe in all respects? <clears throat> he signs thrice the oblation with the sign of the cross. To bless, approve, ratify, make worthy and acceptable, that it may become for us the body and blood of thy most beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Words of consecration and elevation. Consecration of the host. Who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands and with his eyes lifted up towards heaven unto thee, God, his holy father, giving thanks to thee. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. Consecration of the wine. Then, uncovering the chalice, the priest says, In like manner, after he had supped, taking also his excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, and giving thee thanks, he blessed and gave to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this. For this is the chalice of my blood, of the new and eternal testament, the mystery of faith, which shall be shed for you and for many under the remission of sins. After the consecration of the chalice, the priest says in a low voice, As often as ye do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. The priest kneels and adores the precious blood. Rising, he elevates the chalice, and setting it down, he covers it and adores it again. The oblation of the victim of God. In the name of the church, the priest asks of God the Father to accept the sacrifice of the body and blood of his son, as he did that of Abel and Abraham and Melchizedek, which were figures of the sacrifice first offered on Calvary and then renewed in each holy mass. <clears throat> With hands held apart, he then proceeds, Wherefore, O Lord, we thy servants, as also thy holy people, calling to mind the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, and also his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven, offer to thy supreme majesty from thine own gifts bestowed on us a pure victim, a holy victim, an unblemished victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. With hands still apart, <clears throat> he proceeds, unto which thou vouchsafe to look with a propitious and serene countenance, and to accept them, as thou art graciously pleased to accept the gifts of thy just servant Abel, and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which thy high priest Melchizedek offered to thee, a holy sacrifice, a stainless victim. Bending down with hands joined and placed upon the altar, he says, We most humbly beseech thee, Almighty God, command these offerings to be borne by the hand of thy holy angel to thine altar on high in the sight of thy divine majesty, and as many as shall partake of the most holy body and blood of thy Son at this altar may be filled with every heavenly grace and blessing. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Part 24, the prayers after consecration. Here the priest offers the body and blood of Christ for the comfort of the souls in purgatory, invokes the saints that through their intercession we may share in the heavenly inheritance destined for us, and finishes the canon. 
a commemoration of the dead. The faithful departed receive a special memento here. Mention your departed parents, grandparents, relatives, friends, benefactors, teachers, and those departed souls whom you especially desire to remember. Remember also, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids, name and name, who are gone before us with a sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all that rest in Christ, grant, we beseech thee, a place of refreshing coolness, light and peace, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Invocation of the Saints <clears throat> To us also, thy sinful servants, confiding in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some part in fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Mattias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellus, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Sicily, <clears throat> Anastasia, and with all thy saints, in whose company we beseech thee to admit us, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. The final doxology of the canon in minor elevation. Once more, with the closing prayer of the canon, the body and blood of our Lord are offered up to God. The priest joins his hands and thrice signs the cross over the host and the chalice, saying, Through Christ our Lord, by whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create, sanctify, quicken, bless, and to us give all these good things. He uncovers the chalice and genuflects. Then, taking the host in his right hand, and holding the chalice in his left, three times he makes the sign of the cross over the chalice, and twice between himself and the chalice, saying, By him and with him and in him is to thee, God the Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory. Replacing the host and covering the chalice, he kneels down, and rising again, says or signs or sings, World without end. Amen. The priest thus brings to an end all the preceding prayers of the canon by saying aloud, uh, Per omnia, while the faithful assent to all that has been said by answering, Amen. From the Paternoster to Abla Ablutions Prayers of Love and Desire The Paternoster the priest signs, or says aloud, the Lord's Prayer, taught us by the Savior himself. The priest joins his hands, let us pray. Instructed by thy saving precepts, and following the divine institution, we make bold to say, he extends his hands, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. The server, or the choir, in the name of the people, says the last petition, but deliver us from evil. The priest says in a loud voice, Amen, in a low voice, Amen. The Liberanos and the Fraction of the Host. This prayer mentions in detail the evils from which we beg to be delivered. At the end of this prayer, the sacred host is divided. Then the priest takes the paten between his first and second finger and says, Deliver us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all evils, past, present, and to come. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and of the holy apostles Peter and Paul, and of Andrew and of all the saints, mercifully grant peace in our days, that through the assistance of thy holy mercy, of thy mercy, we may be always free from sin and secure from all disturbance. He places the paten under the host, uncovers the chalice, and makes genuflection. Rising, he takes the host, breaks it in the middle over the chalice, and says, Through the same Christ our Lord, thy Son our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth God. 
he replaces the right half of the host on the patent and breaks off a particle from the other half, which he also replaces on the patent. Then, holding the particle in his right hand over the chalice, now held in his left, he says, World without end. Amen. The commingling of the sacred body and blood. The priest makes the sign of the cross with particle over the chalice, saying, The peace of the Lord be always with you and with thy spirit. He puts the particle into the chalice, saying, May this mingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be to us who receive it, effectual unto eternal life. Amen. The Agnus Dei. The priest repeats the words of St. John the Baptist, who thus proclaimed the Messiah to the Jews. <clears throat> For musical notation, see the Curiel. He covers the chalice, genuflex, and rises. Then, bowing down and striking his breast thrice, he says, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. In Masses for the Dead, he says twice, instead of, have mercy on us, grant them rest. And lastly, grant them eternal rest. The Prayers for Holy Communion. The priest says three prayers of immediate preparation for Holy Communion. With joined hands resting on the altar, he bows while saying the three following prayers. In Masses for the Dead, the first of the following prayers is omitted. <clears throat> Prayer for Peace O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to thine apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, look upon my look not upon my sins, but upon the faith of thy church, and deign to grant her that peace and unity which is in accord with thy will, who livest and reignest God, world without end. Amen. In solemn masses, the kiss of peace is now given. The celebrant kisses the altar, then saluting the deacon says, Peace be with you and with thy spirit. The position in the mass of the sign of fraternal charity is characteristic. Before receiving the body of our Lord, Christians should show that they are at peace with her brethren. In Masses for the Dead, the kiss of peace is not given. Prayer for Sanctification O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who, according to the will of thy Father, with the cooperation of the Holy Ghost, hast by thy death given to the world, deliver me by this thy most sacred body and blood from all mine iniquities and from all evils and make me always cleave to thy commandments, and suffer me never to be separated from thee, who livest and reignest, with the same God and Father and Holy Ghost, God, world, without end. Amen. Prayer for Grace <clears throat> Let not the partaking of thy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, which I, though unworthy, presume to receive, turn in my judgment and condemnation. But let it, through thy mercy, become a safeguard and remedy, both for soul and body, who, with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, livest and reignest God forever and ever. Amen. The prayers at communion. The priest's communion. Communion of the sacred body. The priest genuflex, rises, and says, I will take the bread of heaven and will call upon the name of the Lord. Bowing slightly, he takes both halves of the bread between the thumb and the forefingers of his left hand and the patent between the same forefingers and the middle one. Then, striking his breast with his open right hand and raising his voice a little, he says three times devoutly and humbly, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should send her under my roof. Save it the word, and my soul shall be healed. Then, using his right hand, he makes the sign of the cross above the patent with a host, saying, The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve my soul unto life everlasting. 
He then reverently receives both halves of the host, joins his hands, and meditates a short time. Communion of the Precious Blood He uncovers the chalice, genuflects, collects whatever fragments may remain on the cup, on the corporal and purifies the paten over the chalice saying what shall i render to the lord for all things that he hath redeemed, rendered to me i will take the chalice of salvation and i will call upon the name of the lord praising i will call upon the lord and i shall be saved from mine enemies the priest takes the chalice and making the sign of the cross with it, says, The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Then he receives all the precious blood, together with the particle. The People's Communion If Holy Communion is to be distributed, the priest elevates a particle of the Blessed Sacrament, turns toward the people, and says, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who taketh away the sins of the world. And then he says three times, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof, but say the word, and my soul shall be healed. He distributes Holy Communion, saying to each, The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy soul unto life everlasting. Amen. If you do not communicate at the Mass, make an act of spiritual communion. From the ablution to the end. Thanksgiving. The prayers during ablutions. After the communion ceremony, the priest makes two ablutions, washings, of the chalice. The priest says silently, Grant, O Lord, that what we have taken with our mouth we may receive with a pure mind, and from a temporal gift may it become to us eternal remedy. Then he holds out the chalice to the clerk. In solemn masses to the deacon, who pours wine into it for the first ablution. Then the priest proceeds, May thy body, O Lord, which I have received, and thy blood, which I have drunk, cleave to mine inmost being, and grant that no stain of sin may remain in me, who have been fed with this pure and holy sacrament, who livest and reignest forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the priest washes his fingers, and receives the sacred oblation. Then he covers the chalice, and folding the corporal, he makes up the chalice as at the beginning of Mass, and he goes to the right side of the altar to say the prayers from the Missal. The Communion Verse, the Eighth Variable Part The Communion Verse, <clears throat> which varies with Feast, is a short selection from Holy Scripture. The priest kisses the altar. Then he turns to the people and says or sings, The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. The post-communion prayers, the ninth variable part. He then says or sings the prayers called post-communions. They correspond to the collects and secrets already read and are to be found in their proper places in the Missal. And as with collects, only the first and last of them receive an answer. Amen. The conclusion of the Mass. The dismissal and blessing of the people in the last gospel. The dismissal. The priest announces that the Eucharistic action is ended. <clears throat> he turns to the people and says, The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Go, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. At solemn mass, the deacon announces the dismissal of the people by chanting, If the mass is followed by a procession or another liturgical action, there is said instead, uh, Let us bless the Lord, thanks be to God. In masses for the dead is said, May they rest in peace. Amen. In Easter week is said, Go, the mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The blessing. The priest, making a profound reverence, again asks the blessed Trinity graciously to accept this holy sacrifice. Bowing down before the altar, with hands joined, 
upon it says, <clears throat> May the performance of my homage be pleasing to thee, O Holy Trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up in the sight of thy majesty may be acceptable to thee, and through thy mercy be a propitiation for me and for all those whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Then he turns to the faithful, invoking upon them the blessing of God and making over them the sign of the cross. He kisses the altar and raising his eyes, extending, raising and joining his hands, he bows down his head and turning to the people says, May Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost bless you. Amen. <clears throat> in Masses for the Dead or in the Benedictimus, the blessing is omitted. The Last Gospel. The beginning of the Gospel of St. John, which recounts the incarnation of the Son of God, is read from the card at the altar. On certain days, the last Gospel is omitted. At the end, the server answers, Deo gratias. It is eminently proper that the last word of the Mass should be one of thanksgiving. Turning to the Gospel side of the altar, the priest says, the Lord be with you and with thy spirit. He traces the sign of the cross first upon the altar and then upon his forehead, lips and breasts, says, The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. So he reads the, the Gospel where it starts in the beginning was the word. And I won't read that. But thanks be to God. <coughs> and... That's, well, there's other things, you know, perhaps uh, depending on what the priest might do at the end, so I won't read all that. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found why it's extremely disturbing and that the FBI on February 9th of 2023, the leaked memo showed that they will be infiltrating the Latin Mass because this is dangerous stuff. Dangerous to the kingdom of Satan, that is. The end. <laughs>